Over the next few weeks I'm going to be developing um, a new piece called Playhouse for uh, Audiograft in Oxford this year. And I'm working with uh, Oxford Contemporary Music. This is the uh, original sort of prototype, or prototype, um, sketch for the idea, where you have um, a random uh, element, which here is a, actually a Lego ball run, that's um, controlling some sort of computation blocks that then randomly affect a sequencer arranged as um, rows of note values and columns which relate to specific notes that are tapped out and the rest of it is sort of um, drum control and these are all old um, analog synthesizers so we have a TB303 and 808 drums and, and uh, that sort of thing and it's also going to have its own built-in effect units that mixes it all together so most of it starts with a sequencer, that's what's keeping the time on this piece so here's my first sort of prototype sequencer uh, this is uh, a little test circuit down here which shows that the um, impact of these little hammers is being um, picked up and what's going to happen is those little impacts are going to feed through to the matrix um, that, that's converting the note value so if I run through this you can see that they tap through a sequence so I've taken some of these notes off because the circuit's not finished yet but there's going to be eight of them and they'll go through and each, when each one of them impacts that will go through uh, sort of um, to form a connection along a beam and that is picked up by another beam which has a metal um, conductor on it and that forms an electrical connection which sends that note position off to a certain voltage which then goes off to the 303 and makes uh, sort of acid uh, bass lines which are sort of controlled through the matrix so I need a way of moving notes around inside the matrix. So the idea is you'd have something like this where um, you have a series of metal strips that go across and these, these things here would move back and forth randomly depending on the random inputs and then you'd have um, contacts being made that send the values through. So in order to control the position this is a sort of most complicated mechanism which would be of interest if you're into intermittent mechanisms. There's lots of interesting stuff going on here. Um, effectively this mechanism when you push it and you tap it it's progressing this um, this part here, which will be completing the circuit, up, um, up one note. And you can also go the other way too. That's not wired in yet, but it's pretty straightforward. So there's a few things going on here. First we have a ratchet at the top, which is pushed to go one third of a rotation. That's multiplied by three with a 36 and a 12 tooth gear. And this little part in here is the, th the thing that sort of pushes along the um, the note values. So we've got um, a little sort of um, divot that goes in, catches the beam, pushes it through, and you can see there's a bit of slack in there. That's to catch the end case. So if I rewind all the way, it goes right the way back, but then it just gracefully kind of misses that note when it goes all the way back. So there's a kind of safety mechanism there to mean it doesn't actually, um, you know, stick the mechanism. Similarly, if you go all the way to the other end, that was in there. So it's quite a nice little mechanism in there. And I've been trying to tune that to make it more and more sort of, uh, what's the word, less friction in there. So here's a few sort of prototypes of um, more professionally made um, parts. A few early prototypes, all the same sort of idea. Um, now in order for it to work in a matrix, this, this part of the mechanism needs to move uh, left and right across the matrix of notes. So... The new, uh, there's a new little thing with Lego, it's quite a nice handy thing, there's this little red eight tooth gear which uh, it goes on an axle but it can, can slide across freely so you can have a movement that's actually, um, what's the word, you can move along the length of the axle. So that was the first experiment in, in latching the position along. And this is a more complete example of, which is falling apart. So this is turning that mechanism I showed you earlier and it can move to any position to select a, a note and then change it from there. So that's the first part of the piece. Uh, next I'm going to talk a bit about um, the random number generation in the system.